I'm Karen Dolan. I direct the Criminalization of Poverty Project here at IPS. We've just seen an election where a candidate lost the popular vote and gained the support of only one quarter of registered voters. So we still have a country where the majority of people believe that a progressive, inclusive, anti-racist society is possible. We believe that here at IPS as well. At IPS, we assess policies and power through that lens of progressivity, anti-racism, inclusivity. We're troubled by an administration that's incoming that has expressed the desire of mass deportation, that has expressed xenophobia, Islamophobia, has expressed the desire to roll back reproductive rights, to roll back the civil and human rights of transgender people, other LGB people, that is staffing up with anti-Semites, with uh, misogynists, uh, white supremacists, white nationalists. These are all very scary for our country. And here at IPS, we're going to be working to counteract that. In my capacity, I work primarily on domestic issues, mostly on poverty, especially through the lens of criminalization and that intersection of poverty and race and gender identity and how that creates and perpetuates poverty. We also believe that change comes from the people most impacted by unjust policies. So we work with anti-racist organizations, we lift up uh, movement leaders that are youth and people of color. We, I'm working with families of incarcerated children, uh, looking at the ways to implement alternatives to incarceration, places that are, that are effectively safe spaces and spaces for transformative justice that allows uh, for, for children to have a future. Outside of IPS, I, my activism is focusing on civil and human rights for transgender youth, especially transgender youth and young adults of color as they are promised to be the targets of the uh, incoming administration. Thank you.